we've received over uh, 89,000 emails oh, wow. that have come to us and just putting them into the folder and, and uh, actually keeping them to see see if there's multiple ones coming in or, or and potentially threats too. But uh, sure. most of them are just, they're just saying, you know, either Hillary Clinton won the popular vote, so you should vote for her or, you know, making a claim that uh, President-elect Trump's not fit for office, so you should vote for some other Republican and, and go from there. Are those like formulaic? Do they? Do you feel like someone just sent out a, a you know, yeah. an email that you're supposed to send out? Yes, they really are. In fact, I've I've seen one of the websites uh, where they're doing that. So they actually have uh, all of the elector email addresses on it, and you just key in your email address, and you can actually just print the generic wording or tweak it a little bit the way you want to. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> So is that just emails, or do they do the phone calls too? Or? I haven't gotten many phone calls, oh, uh, but I have gotten some uh, some handwritten and typed letters that are actually mailed as well. Oh. The, the old snail mail process that uh, I guess still exists. Interesting. Is this your first time being an elector? It is. It is. Okay. It is. So yeah. you have nothing to compare it to the years past. But I imagine this is a little different. Well, actually, my wife was an elector in oh. 2000. In the Bush versus Gore, oh. uh, so I don't know whether we just uh, strategically picked uh, or, or get selected during tough years uh, to uh, to be electors. Uh, she was she was inundated then with uh, you know, at that point in time it was mostly phone calls in terms of uh, uh, of a response or uh, some emails as well. Uh, it was kind of funny in, in her particular cases. <clears throat> she grew up in Florida, and so she had actually voted on those voting machines in Palm Beach County that were the, uh, the, the generators of the notorious hanging chad. Uh -huh. So it's kind of a, an interesting story that she could say, no, I really do know what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, those were all the questions I had for you. Like I said, it, it, it's kind of a silly question, but it is one I wanted to ask the electors, just to be sure, yeah. to see, yeah. see if we have any outliers <laughs> in Kansas. But, uh, yeah, I don't think we are. I mean, the uh, you know people of Kansas uh, voted overwhelmingly for for uh, President-elect Trump to be president. And so I think we should represent that, and so that's why I plan to vote for him. <laughs>